today on Brilliance Business TV, we have Robert J. Moore. Robert is a seasoned professional featured in Forbes and Disrupt magazines, internationally awarded bestseller, founder of Magnetic Entrepreneur Inc. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome to Brilliance Business TV, conversations with leading experts in business. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. We have a excellent entrepreneur on the show today, Robert J. Moore. Now, Robert has spoken on some of the biggest stages in the world with some of the biggest names in business. So I'm really, really looking forward to a conversation with him. And also business coaching is so, so important. Over the years, I've had lots of business coaching. So I'm really looking forward to the conversation today. We're streaming live on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. We're also on the E360 TV network under Fresh Takes going out to Apple TV, Fire TV, Android, Roku, and many more. We're also streaming on Business Innovators Radio Network, and we're also streaming on mspnewsglobal.com. I just need to make an official shout out to our show sponsors, Dreamweaver Artist Ranch. Let's bring in our incredible guest, Robert J. Moore. Robert, welcome to Brilliance Business TV. Hey, how you doing, Mark? Thanks for having me. I'm really, really well, thank you. I'm really looking forward to a conversation with you today. Just start, Robert, just sharing a little bit about yourself and how you support your clients. How do I support my clients? Well, you never start with supporting your clients, for one. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna tell people your story, you gotta tell them a back backstory first. In order That's to tell why them I you. said tell people about yourself and how you support your clients. Well, I was just getting there. I was just getting there. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking for this thing. You said it's live. I, I don't know exactly where it's live myself, but um, it will was, be live on Sunday. So the show is pre recorded. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, because you said it was live. So I was looking for it. Okay. Um, I was a drug addict alcoholic. I did a lot of years in, in jail, 17 years in jail. Um, you could say I'm an ex gangster, I guess you could call it. I did a lot of things for the bikers and the mob. And one of the things I've learned is that if you have a void to fill, try not to fill it in other people's expectations, right? Because when I was brought up, I, I felt like I didn't fit in. So when I didn't fit in, I turned to drugs, alcohol, became a drug addict, an alcoholic. I've lost a lot of people in my life. I lost three of my brothers to the drugs and alcohol. They're all deceased now. I've lost uh, my wife, given birth to my birth to my my son, right in my own hands in 1992, and uh, today I'm clean and sober, almost 18 years, which I'm very proud of. In that 18 years, I ended up going and get my education, my social service worker diploma, my addictions degree, my BA in psychology, my master's in counseling psychology which led me into being a therapist for 15 years and a counselor for drugs and alcohol for 12 years. But I didn't feel like I fit in there either. But I, the reason why I did all the education is not to impress other people. It was what it was, is it was to impress me trying to figure out where I came from, why I was acting the way it was, why my behavior was that way. Once I started figuring that out and started getting onto the right path, that's when I'd be able to utilize all those skills and help empower other people in their business. So I'm, I'm a no bullshit kind of guy. Um, if I, if you work with me, you'll know I care more about your business and your emotions. Your emotions we'll deal with later. You know what I mean? I'm the kind of person I care about your business and upbranding your business, give you credibility, look at your foundation, look at your structure and work with you. Well, that is a great story, Robert. And I really resonate that with that myself. I'm an ex-drug addict as well. I was addicted to crack cocaine, heroin, and I actually collapsed at the age of 21 
from drug use. So I completely um, resonate with your story. And it's great how people can go from being in, in a, a severe drug addict to completely transforming their lives. So it just goes to show that you can be the hero of your life. Now, you've been on the cover of Forbes or you've been featured in Forbes, haven't yeah, you? It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Show, that show, one. It up, show it up, get it on the screen. This is one of the biggest publications. That's very, very impressive. That must have been a milestone for you, Robert. It was. It was. I mean, it was very filling. Um, I can't go over there and show the other one there, but that one there is a Guinness World Record. Yeah, I want to talk about that, actually, Robert, about you being uh, in the Guinness World Records. Tell us about that. Well, first it was, I, it, it wasn't easy to get into because you first you have to do the, the first part. You have to talk to them, put your thought out there, and hopefully it will suppress the next level. So you got three different levels. First level is you talk to one person. Okay, that sounds great. Let's go to the next level. The next level is okay. They look at the strategy of it. How's it work? It's got to be different. It's got to be, it's got to be something that's unique. So I didn't pass that twice, but the third time I got in, I sat in front of twelve people. There's twelve people on the Zoom call, and I had to be different. I was a publisher at the time. I just recently sold my publishing business, which I did over two hundred books, and I was in every one of them myself too. That was the best part of it. I had a forward in it or a chapter in it or something. Here's the thing. I said to them, I said, since I'm a publisher and everybody has to have their own spot in the book, I said, there's going to, there has to be at least 115 people in the book in order to make a Guinness World Record suppress to beat the other person. So the only way to do it is I asked for 150 people. On the average, you're going to lose 25%. It's on the average, it's guaranteed. It's like selling tickets. You're going to lose 25% of the people won't show up, even though they paid. Yes, true. So, I said, okay, listen, I'm going to write a bio for each of the person in the book. I want them to put their bio in there, a 300-word bio. I put 150 people in there. 129 people showed up. 126 people took place. And all we did was when the lady was up there, she counted. One, two, three. We opened the front cover. We signed our name the same time, put our hands up like this and showed her. And boom, we ended up winning the Guinness World Record. At 126 people signing simultaneously at the same time. That's incredible. And I bet that was a really fun day as well. It was, uh, I was actually, I had COVID. I was throwing up. I was supposed to be in the hospital. I refused to go to the hospital. Um, my dedication to people, and this, this is what I'm trying to tell you. My dedication to people is my word. I'm all about word. Yes. All right. If you tell me you're going to do something in business and tell me you're going to be something, I expect you to do that because you told me you're going to do that. It's yes. not trust. It's word. It's it's a bond, right? Now, I used to go around when I was raised by the bikers and all these other people. If you didn't keep your word, you something would happen, right? I mean, I'm not like that today, but, I mean, I'm just saying that's how I was brought up, and that's why I keep my word, right? So, I, I no matter what, I was throwing up blood and everything else that day. So I had an M per MC, a, a person come in, do the MC in for me, and we did the job. And I told people, I said, look, I'm here for you. It doesn't matter if I'm the main person on the holder. Each an individual person that was there actually got a certificate saying they took place in it with their name on it from the Guinness World Record. And yes, and from what you were saying as well, like holding yourself accountable as well for the things that you commit to, that's very important. Always, always. Tell us a little bit about Magnetic Entrepreneur Inc. Well, Magnetic Entrepreneur Inc. is all about the next level, right? It's about bringing that person to the next level. I, I love teaching people. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big you are, how much money you have, how, how much revenue you have there's always something missing in somebody's business. I mean, I've talked to people that are multimillionaires. For instance, I've been working with, on and off for the last three years, Les Brown's daughter. Yes. All right? I mean, I'm, here I am coaching. I mean, she even puts a video out there sitting there saying it. You know what I mean? Like, I've coached her. And there's a few other people that I've coached that are very high end too. But here's the thing. When you look at the situation and you don't know your foundation, 
and you want to add a zero to your back of your thing, though. But if you're hiring other people, they just might say, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. But if you don't know your foundation, how do you know it's going to be true or not? It's going to be a proper fit. You need to know your foundation of the of your business, no matter what, and the structure of it. So when there's a pandemic, pandemic, I'll call it. Yes. You you might have you might have disappearing people, but you still have your revenue coming in. So if you have your revenue coming in, you're still okay, but you still know how to get your leads. You still know how to move forward. The problem is if people have that hole or a crack in their seal, it's going to have a problem and you're going to start slowing down on the, on the leads, slowing down on the people you're working with. Um, this week alone, I think I had 3,300 people go to my website. They, uh, it, it shows. I agree. And I mean, so many people struggle through the pandemic. I was really fortunate, Robert. I had one of my best years ever because everyone wanted media coverage. And I launched my publishing platform, MSPNewsGlobal.com. And I also launched as an agency as well. So it's really, really important that we have the right kind of strategies. What would you say the top three problems that your clients have that come to you and the three solutions that overcome it, Robert? One of the biggest problems I'm going to say to people I know is when they come to me and, and they're not aware of this, they're going to go to this platform. They're going to go to that platform. They're going to go to that platform. They're going to go to that platform. They they hear these people are famous in town. They have to go. They want to be just like that person. Oh, oh I got this other person. Tony Robbins coming. I better go to him. I want to be like him too. The thing is, they're not taking a nugget from each of those people and building themselves. They're trying to actually fit their whole body into themselves, like everything they do, and try and be like them is recognized as them. But the thing is, they don't realize if you take a nugget and start building a platform and start building things up, you can actually be that person inch by inch by inch. So I got 52 people I studied, so I took a piece of 52 inch of all these people and made me the person I am today. I'm well recognized all over the world. I've been on stages all over the world with Eric Thomas, Les Brown, Jack Canfield. I mean, just to name a few, Kyle Wilson, Jim Rollins, ex-business partner, a good buddy of mine. You know, like it's a simple thing to do. In order to get that credibility, you gotta sometimes you gotta sacrifice yourself. And that's the second part I want to talk about is credibility. People come to me and they say, Well, how can, how'd you get recognized? How'd you get this? How'd you get that? It's about knowing the right from wrong. You can't sit there and go to a barber shop and not expect to get a haircut. You know what I mean? There's the people you hang with. Whoever you hang with is who you're going to become. So if you're hanging around people doing a uh, Nintendo game, I'm sorry, but you're going to be stuck doing Nintendo. You're not going to go nowhere. If you're mm -hmm. in a room and you're the last person in that room, right, and, and there's nobody else around, where are you going to go? You got no direction. So the biggest thing I say is don't be the, don't be the one that's smartest in the room. Always get out of that room, go to a room where you're not as smart. Great advice there. And I know as well, you have so many different books, but you're a best-selling author. Do you have any books that you want to talk about today, Robert? The one, the one is Resilience. I mean, that one there is, uh, it's, it's been all over the place. I mean, it's, it's huge. It's going in 15 different languages as I speak right now. It's actually I'm being I'm actually doing an autobiography on that book there, which is my life history. So it's called Resilient, based on a true story of Robert J. Moore. Um, at the exact same time, I've actually signed a contract for a movie, and that movie um, we're we're going to be starting very soon. They're just doing the last last part of the example for the uh, the funding, and it's like wow. I even I even end up getting this little fella too, <laughs> <laughs> and it's got resilience on the back. Isn't that for the car, Robert? Shouldn't you put that on the dashboard? Yeah, in the that's car? back in the day, man. That's back in the day you put them on the car. <laughs> so, Robert, what are you working on right now and what's new for you? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna be publishing my last book. Uh, since I sold the company, I'm training other people right now to do their own company and publishing and that. And they get me for a year because I sold the company and that. So I'm training the whole, the whole team. I don't know how to do it all. And then uh, I move on from there. But basically, I, I'm just doing business coaching. I'm doing, it's all mastermind. It's all high-end mastermind. It's no uh, lower stuff and stuff. So the stuff that if you really want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you would have to take one of my bigger packages. Because the first two packages, you know, the grow and, and, and the uh, turning point packages that I have, they just, they just uh, 
it's all videotaped. And I got some prime examples in there and I got different uh, where to go, what to do and how to do. Right. So, I mean, if you really want to work with me one on one, you'll get the bigger package, like the one year package I have for myself. Um, getting one on one. It, it's powerful because I rip your business apart. I see where you're going wrong. I try and build it up to a higher level, put you on different podcasts, introduce you to the right person. Hey, I had a buddy of mine. He's a videographer. Uh, he come to me. Last week, um, him and I are working together. He's doing autobiography with me. I just introduced him to Al Pacino's stepmom. Very impressive. And Robert, who is the ideal person that would be best to reach out to you? Who who is screaming out at you that you could really support? You know, anybody that really wants to, they're, they're feeling stuck and they want to move ahead. It doesn't matter what level you're at. I've helped people from multi-billionaires to billionaires to millionaires to nobody to zero. People are coming off the street. I've helped people. I mean, I, it's estimated I've helped over 200,000 people because of what I do. Um, and that's just not publishing either. That's everything all in one, everything I do. Um, speaking on stages, doing things out in the crowds. I mean, I've seen people emotionally fall down and, and literally in a, in a crowd. And I go over, I was a therapist for a long time. I helped them out. But see, the thing is, I want to work with people who want to who want to better themselves, who want to who want to bring their business to the next level, who wants to get on that certain, you know, area. Like, I mean, do the PR stuff like you are. Um, I don't want to do no PR stuff. I want to get them to the point where they got that level where they can actually be featured in PR. A lot of people can't be featured in PR because they don't have the structure and the foundation properly set. And they think they do. But when they get on, they got cracks. So when they say, OK, well, listen, I'm going to get a hold of you. Okay, well, fine, get a hold of you, but where's the rest of the material? Like, there's something missing. I love it. And I would encourage everyone to go to Robert's website. You can learn more about working with Robert and check him out at magnetic slash entrepreneur.com. That's magnetic slash entrepreneur.com. Robert, I thoroughly enjoyed having a conversation with you today. Is there anything that we did not cover that you would like to share? There's there's a lot of stuff that, I mean, we didn't cover. But, I mean, simply put, I mean, it's all about it's all about the next person. It's about the person trying to leave a, a legacy. And there's two different legacies, one when we're deceased and one when you're alive. Let's do the one when you're alive, obviously, because I don't want to work when you're deceased. So I would prefer to work with people that – are willing to grow and watch themselves grow. They won't even know. The thing is, people don't even know they grow at first until other people notice it. That's the weirdest thing. Oh, man, I know she's done this. I know she's done that. And it's like, whoa, I didn't realize I did. I'm just going with the flow. That's because you're learning. Yes, and it's good sometimes to look backwards at the, the successes along the way. Yeah. To I mean, I look just... back. I mean, you figure 18 years ago, sitting in a jail cell. I haven't seen one since. And look at you now. So that's just testament to people out there who may be struggling with any kind of addiction, struggling any any kind of way at life. If you're you are have just come out of prison, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. Robert is testament to that. I am testament to that. And it's never too late to make a change and move forward in a positive direction. Robert, thank you so, so much for being my guest today. No, no worries. I appreciate it. The pleasure's been all mine. Thank you, everyone, for watching Brilliant Business TV, conversations with leading experts in business. Until next time, bye for now.